I mean, I, I just saw Mike a little while ago. He didn't say a word about this. Well, maybe he didn't want to ruin your homecoming. I just thought you might want to know that Michael was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's a violation of his parole. Yeah, well, Dante and I covered for him. According to the official report, Michael was nowhere near the scene. Well, thank you for that. No problem. And listen, Johnny's not going to contradict us. He likes Michael. He even feels obligated to him to some degree now. But this thing between Johnny and Sonny is going to hell and fast. It's only a matter of time before someone dies. Are you, you going to go after Santos for the shooting? There's no evidence. I mean, I'm just piecing things together, but in the meantime, I want to keep bloodshed to a minimum. So you want me to talk Sonny down? Yeah. Or John. I don't really care who. I just need a truce before it's too late. You know... Anybody home? <laughs> okay, come on. It's okay, I got you. Oh. Is this mirror? There are like a thousand stairs from the street to this place. No kidding. Listen, I'm gonna get a couple of beers. Okay. You know. I used to be able to handle my booze a lot better than this. Maybe yeah, I should, I should quit while I'm ahead. Why is that? You're at home, Dante. What kind of trouble can you get into, huh? Oh, as an officer of the law, I know there's a fine line between inebriation and the fall of the civilization. Civilized behavior. Okay, well, just relax. Nothing is collapsing. Ah. Mm. Uh, yeah, your virtue is completely intact. I have virtue? That's a good question. Really? No. You have every single girl in Bensonhurst lining up to date you outside. <laughs> and you know why? Because you make them feel so special. <laughs> yeah, except for me, though. I don't take numbers from my guys. No matter how badly I want them. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know that I want to be in love again. I don't think I can be trusted with it. But you're moving into Windermere. Yeah, for the sake of my children. They deserve to feel secure. And things are better with me and Nicholas. I mean, when Aiden went missing, all that anger just melted away. We were able to turn to each other, which is a really good thing. That is good, and I'm happy for you. I'm happy for the both of you, whatever happens. Just try not to be so hard on yourself. Oh, well, maybe I need to be. I spend a lot of time making excuses for myself. It's time I just face what I did and move on. Elizabeth, you made a mistake. That's a really nice way of putting it. Would you ever cheat on Patrick? Or would you be this rational if Patrick cheated on you? Probably not, you see? <laughs> Bottom line, Nicholas and I have a beautiful baby boy and it's time I start making the right decisions for my children. Okay, just try to squeeze in a couple of good choices for yourself. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but I can only hope. Well, then you're halfway there. I mean, for all the distance that I put between me and Patrick, it was only because I was afraid to trust my own feelings. And even with all the craziness, I honestly never doubted for one moment that I made the right choice. It takes so much courage to be able to give yourself completely to someone else, but I'm living proof that it's worth it. Robin! Anyone home? We're just crossing the harbor, not the ocean. <laughs> Is that everything? Yes, yes, it's it's everything, believe me. Cam, go meet your brother in the car, okay? The driver will help you get in. Thank you. She said packed everything that wasn't nailed down. But you packed light, right? Easier to get away. Well, it's not like Windermere doesn't have all the trappings. It's true, and then some. <laughs> hey, 
seriously, if you don't want to do this, I mean, we don't have to. I'll understand. I think I'd have a mutiny on my hands. <laughs> really, I, I want to try this and just okay. see where it goes. No pressure. Right? right, yeah, no pressure. Yeah. Well, as they say in your part of the world, the car is waiting. Can you grab him? Come here, buddy. Okay. Come on, Aiden. Time to go see Daddy's house. Ah, well, hello there, Miss Spencer. Hey. What is your pleasure? I'm just looking for my man. Oh my God, you just missed him. Oh, um, well, he texted me that Brooke called and said she, she was having a rough time or something. Was everything okay? I just served him a couple of beers. Nobody looked like they were having a rough time. Okay, well, um, I'll head home. Well, hey, before you go, Kate called me from Toronto. My Kate? Your Kate, my Kate. <laughs> it's the same Kate. Come on, anyway, she wants to, she invited me to fly up and meet her. But she's a little bit vague about what kind of oh. shebang she's got cooking up there. Uh, it's uh, a big meeting with Ernesto Cartulo's North American distributors. Not really your scene. I know, that's what I figured. But since you're the keeper of the calendar, I thought maybe you could, like, give me the lowdown of what I could drop <laughs> in and avoid all the Italian loafer types. Okay, no, I, I don't think that Kate would appreciate me showing her calendar to anyone, even you. Lulu. I love you do me right on this, and maybe, I mean, I'm not promising, but maybe I can talk her into staying a couple of days longer. More freedom for you. Well, when you put it that <laughs> way. I never knew you uh, wanted to go out with me. I thought we were just good friends, you know? I mean, you were just a little girl. Yeah, but I'm all grown up now. Yes, yes you are. You never noticed me. Uh, that's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> no kidding with all those Fourth of July parties and Labor Day. And how about when Mrs. Minetti, uh, she assumed we were doing it when I was hosing you off. Oh, yeah, we weren't even doing anything. We were I'm... just hanging out back there together. <laughs> yeah, but they assumed, Dante. Yeah. Come on, tell me you never wondered. Wondered what? Don't just Say, and the squad room is not exactly the place because if it gets back to Mac, you're, you're not going to tell him, right? And he's supposed to be taking it easy after surgery. And if he found out about this, he would rip Patrick's head off. Maxie, just tell me what's going on. Okay, um, there's this doctor. Her name is Lisa Niles, and I think she has a thing for Patrick. I want you to do a background check on her. A background check? Okay, let me, let me get this straight. With uh, no sign of criminal behavior, just based on your hunch, you want me to violate this woman's privacy because she might have the hots... Robin's husband. There's no might about it. You want to know how I know? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Lisa is hung up on Patrick, like how I was hung up on you. Robin? Son of a bitch! Hey, what's wrong? I can't find my HIV meds. They're not in the medicine cabinet? No, first place I looked. I always take some with me and then I leave the rest here and now they're gone. Are you sure you didn't take them with you? I mean, I know I was in a hurry, but I always leave the pills here and my pill organizer and now that's gone too. So I, 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 I don't know what the hell happened. Let's fly, baby. 